Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon and Sagittarius reading for May 26, 2021. All right, jumping straight into it with an oracle card message for Aquarius. Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon reading for Aquarius, please spirit. Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon reading for Aquarius. And last up, for Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon reading for Aquarius. All right, all right, all right. This is going to be a quick read, so I'm only going to pull one of these, and we're going straight into the tarot. Why do I feel the need to grab this one? No, 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 no. We have Dragon Emergence, and the overall energy is Goat Potency. Um, I think Scorpio got this as well, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or it may just benefit you to watch that reading, but this is great energy, great, great energy. You coming out of this state of hermit mode or going through a dark night of the soul and you're rising like a phoenix from the eye you've gone through a metamorphosis spiritually and you're ready for whatever you're about to start something you're about to create something you got some type of idea and it's gonna you're gonna make it come into fruition and if you're trying to have kids right now it's a possibility you know to you up to you <laughs> all right let's get into the tarot total lunar eclipse and blood moon reading for Aquarius. Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon Reading for Aquarius. Last Shuffle, Total Lunar Eclipse and Blood Moon Reading for Aquarius. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see what's happening. Whoa. <laughs> We have the two of wands. So someone may be thinking about reaching out to you or you may be thinking about reaching out to someone. Yeah, ace of wands. Someone with a passionate new beginning with you. And we have the four of pentacles, but you don't want it. <laughs> you don't want to deal with it. Someone's trying to reach out and trying to start some passion, some sexual energy, trying to start again. And you don't want it. I feel like because you dealt with this person before, you've changed inwardly. You've gone through a change and you don't want to deal with the same people anymore, do the same things anymore. You you want something else. You're ready to birth something else. And if you don't want to birth an actual person, don't do it because it's going to be possible. Overall energy is the emperor. Aries, yeah, you want some big teams, okay? It could be an Aries trying to reach out to you. You could be older. They could be older. Whatever. <laughs> but there's someone here who, from your past, that you're withholding from, who wants a new passion at beginning with you, they're going to reach out to you. And you're on to you're on your boss energy, emperor energy. You could be starting your own business or just working really hard at work, trying to level up, get a new job. You're about your money. Okay, you're about making things happen with the emperor and potency, the goat. You are about your business. You are 100% in your Aquarius energy and you're feeling fiery. You're on the go. You're probably saving your money at this time as well, building up to fulfill your goals and your dreams and then we got somebody like you're not even worried about them because they're trying to throw you off like bye clarify this for aquarius <laughs> they're just a distraction to you honestly that's how you see them clarify this for aquarius they're like a mosquito you just like uh get off me uh. that's how you feel like get your ass off me and then while i'm shuffling the emperor comes up again so yeah, like I said, you're on your boss type of energy and you ain't got time for games, people from your past, uh, uh, messing around. You're trying to save all your energy, okay? Clarifying the two of wands is the knight of pentacles. Yeah, you are about your business. It could be an earth sign trying to reach out to you though, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces with the high priestess. I feel like you already see this person reaching out to you or you know that they will. Yeah, you can already foresee this person reaching out to you. You already know they are. Clarifying the Ace of Wands is the Knight of Swords. So you're focused on your goal, trying to win at all costs here. Someone's focused on trying to be with you. While someone's focused on trying to be with you, you're focused on your goals. Six of Wands, yeah. You're all about your business, all about that paper. Could be done with a fire sign. Someone could just have fire strongly in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles is the Five of Cups. Yeah, you're withholding from past disappointments. The devil. So this is a toxic relationship from your past. You're disappointed about how it happened. So you're withholding from the toxicity because you don't want to repeat that cycle. 
overall energy is the five of wands because you know it's going to start nothing but conflict with this person this person is going to try to come back into your life they're going to reach out to you and it's going to be nothing but conflict with this person and this person was nothing but toxic this relationship was nothing but toxic and you don't want to deal with it anymore you're withholding from it because you don't want to go through that cycle again yeah, they're going to try to reach out and offer you something and start in the beginning with you and, and claim that they want to work on it when really they just want to slow you down with sex. They're trying to win at all costs. They might pull out all the stops. They may offer you money. They may offer you sex. They may offer you um, money and want some sex in return or vice versa, sex, and then want money from you. Whatever it is, they're just a, a slowing you down. This person may be very tempting. They may be very attractive with the devil card. It's very, it's a lot of temptation here. A lot of fire and a lot of temptation. But just as like attractive as they are, it's as toxic as they are. With the five of wands, it's nothing, it's going to turn into nothing but an argument and conflict, especially if you reject them. And even if you take them back, it's just going to be a repeated cycle of toxicity. This is just a test. Focus on your goals. Do not engage in this person. Because if you focus on your goals with the Ace of Wands, because this person is trying to win it all costs with you, and you're focused on your work. If you stay focused on your work, you are going to be victorious. You are in the spotlight. You're very attractive, and you're winning at this time. And I feel like you already see it coming. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Put all that sexual energy into your goals and ambition. Withhold from this person because it's just a. It's going to be the same repeated cycle. All right, and they just want you because you hot right now. You in the spotlight. You looking good. You're winning. You're successful, and they just want to come in and put blockages in here. And they definitely gonna fight with you if you reject them. They may come in starting to fight. All right, but that is your total lunar eclipse, blood moon, and Sagittarius reading Aquarius for May 26, 2021. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. I sent you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.